everybody it's me again welcome back to my channel and for those of you who don't know I'm Tina hi um today we're gonna do a little DIY as this is just an idea that is floating around inside my little head whether it works or not I don't know but I'm gonna show you what um I did start it just some simple things because I needed to de um I needed to glue I use e6000 some glue some pieces on and I wanted to set up overnight so that when I started the, the actual project it would be nice and dry and I wouldn't have to worry about the pieces falling apart but um if you watched my Dollar General haul you will know that I bought a little mini tea set um this a little child's tea set a little porcelain one and um and that's what we have here and uh, what all I need from the, the tea set is a cup and a saucer, a saucer and the teacup, and the um, the little teapot. That's all I wanted from it. But um, what I did is I took some E6000 and I glued the top on. I don't want the top falling off it. And I took a little um, jump ring. Can you see it? Yeah, it's just a little jewelry jump ring, and I glued it right to the tip of the little spout. And what's, what's, what, how's it go? I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When you tip me over, pour me out. Something like that. I think I got most of the words to it. But, um, yeah, I don't know why I start, why I thought of that song. <laughs> but yeah, so, um, yeah, I, joke, I glued a little, um, I used E6000, glued a little jump um, ring to it. And, um, but the, and then I also, I took the teacup and I E6000 it to the, whatchamacallit thingy, the saucer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I had the, a plan. I was going to, um, take the teacups, glue them to the, t the um, saucers and make earrings out of them. But I forgot how big they were. <laughs> And I pulled it out and I'm looking at it. I was like, those are not going to make some good earrings. Those would be huge. I was thinking they're like really teeny tiny things. And I was like, no, that's not going to work. So that idea's out. So I don't know. I'll have to think of something else to do with them. Because I still have three saucers and I still have three cups that, you know, I don't need for this project anyways. Yep. Yep. has something in my mouth. But I'm sure I'll think of something. But, um... But yeah, so so let's get into this DIY. And like I said, I'm not sure if it's going to work. It's just an idea floating around in my head. So crossing my fingers, let's, just, let's get right into it. Well, as you can see, I have some um, clear beads. And I have some uh, purple floral wire. And um, I got this at the dollar store. It's just, it's just floral wire. It, it comes in different colors. But the objective is to, it's really easy to, to, um, manipulate. It's not very, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not very strong. But we want to get that into like a circle. And that's pretty good. So we're just gonna take this one, this like end piece. I got my um, little jewelry thingies here to help me bend this wire to the way I want it to be bent. And we just want it to hold hold its shape in that circle. Yes, we do. No, I would say, I'm going to cut it off about right here. I'd say this is plenty. Okay. Probably cut off too much, but that's fine. I'd say, um, all together, I probably cut off a little more than a foot. But I, don't, I won't need that much. That's just what I'm starting with. Oh, it's a jelly bean. What are you doing? What are you doing, Chappie? Yeah, she wanted to come say hi. But we want this to lay flat, so I'm just going to hold my hand on it. 
Let me bend this thing up a little bit. What? What do you want? You got food. You got water. You just want lovin's? Now the objective is we're going to take these beads and we want this as flat as possible. And actually I'm going to um just want to make sure that's not going to come undone. So I'm just going to kind of bend it around a little bit more. Try to squeeze them together. Okay, and we want to get this part here as straight as possible. This part's going to kind of lean over and going to just lean a little bit. But what we're going to do is we're going to take these beads and we're going to kind of like glue them kind of like this onto this thing so the beads will kind of look like this but we're going to be gluing the beads first then putting them on the bar thing you know if you have to like move this single out a little ways that's fine but yeah we want like a little Kind of a circle in um, comparison to my hand. I don't know. Maybe about the size of a half dollar. It's Jelly Bean again. What do you want? What do you want? Okay. I'm going to try to find a round. This is a nice round bead. It's a nice round one. And I'm going to use E6000 because I want these things to stick together. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some, yeah, it's kind of dark here. I'm just going to put some here and just glue it to the side of this one. And then, carefully, <laughs> let's see where this one's going to fall. Okay, so it's probably about right here. And about right here. And so we're just going to push them all together. We don't want it going to the table, so... That would be bad. I think I'm going to put it on a plastic bag. So. There we go. I'll make sure it's secure down there. And we're going to, you know, let's kind of line them up. And do the same thing again. So what we're doing with this is this will be the weight. We need some weight. So I'm just going to hold those together for a moment. Get that set up a bit. Yeah, smaller one. Look for one that fits in there. That one would be better. That will be better. And this one, I'm gonna go all the way, kind of all the way around it. I want it getting all sides. And it's gonna carefully shove it on in there. In there. Now we have the little thing. 
Now that's going to have to dry. So I will let that dry overnight. And once that's dry, I will be back. Hi, everybody. Okay, we're back. And, um, yeah, I made the, you know, in the, the last time I was recording this, I did the whole little, um, the little glass beads, and I tried doing, like, a little flower pattern. Well, that was a complete fail, because when I went to pick it up, it just fell apart. So, we're not going to do that. So, um, I can't remember if I showed you this, but pretty much all I did was make a loop, and I want the loop to be small enough to fit underneath this cup, but big enough to where it is, it's going to hold it, that cup underneath it, see, so, yeah, that's all I did, and then I put it up here, and just made like a little loop with it. This little loop. And this is um, the floral wire that you can buy at the Dollar Tree. And it's very easy to bend. And it's, I bent it all with my hands. I didn't have to use any kind of, you know, special kind of um, tools <laughs> to bend it. <laughs> I had to think about it for a second. But, yeah, that's all that is. I can't remember if I showed you that. Yeah, it's been a little while since... I started this video but I thought you know I should get back into it and you know get back to working on it so I can finish it and post it now you're gonna need you know like a little bead like that and you're gonna need and I'm looking through my jewelry thingies looking for the things I need to do this so don't mind me while I look real quick. Because as you know, I have two of these things. <laughs> so I'm just looking through it. But yeah, we're going to need, you know, just a straight pin thing. And you're going to need a little loopy. But, um, yeah. And a couple of these little thingamabjiggies. So, so we're also going to use one of these with the, the um, hoop on the end. So we need a straight pin, a little hoop pin, a little jump um, thingy, whatever they're called. A little one of these and four of these little thingies. <laughs> Yeah, those thingies, that's what you need. <laughs> the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the one with the circle. And we're going to add these little beads. And I'm trying to find the hole. Story of my life, I'm always trying to find that hole. And I know it's here somewhere. There we go. Got one down. I got to get three more. Little holes are very hard to see. That's three, and there be four. Come on, get on there. There we go. So just four little beads. So what you're gonna do next is. You're going to want to take our big tools here. Because you got to do this right. Well, I guess on these ones it really don't matter. But what I do is I grab the, the little hooky at the bottom. Because I want this uh, thing to go the same direction. And so I use these because they have like a little tiny, little tiny neat, blah, 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 needle nose on it. And you're going to want to hold that bottom one tight. And we're going to bend gonna bend that wire see now it's facing the same direction as the little loopy at the bottom that is important so we're just gonna I usually leave hmm about that much you see that you see how much is left on there 
Yeah, I'm wearing my glasses, so I'm having trouble seeing the camera. Yeah, but about that much. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna grab it with these little ones. Eek! Yeah, I just dropped it. There we go. We're gonna grab it. Now again, we want to grab that bottom loop. Because we want to make sure this thing is going in the right direction. So we're going to grab, and we're just going to start turning. Turning. Till we got another loop on the top. Now you might have to pinch it a little bit to make sure that loop is closed. I'm just going to grab it a little bit more and just turn it a little bit more. And then squeeze them. And so now you see the, the loops are facing the same direction. You want those loops facing the, in the same one. You don't want one going this way and then one going this way. You want them both the same way. And that's what we got. So now on this one, we're going to put it on a head pin, I think they're called. I don't remember. Just like that. And we're just gonna do the same thing again. We're gonna take it all the way down to the beat and just bend it. Now this one you don't really have to worry about the what direction it goes. And we're gonna cut off some of that that length on there. And uh about that bunch. Can you see it? That's about how much I leave behind. And then I grab it with my little tool and I start turning it. Keep turning it until you got a loop. Now it's time. Now we're going to connect this one straight to here. We're not going to use the jump thing, whatever that's called. And we're going to want to connect it straight to it. So what we're going to do, I'm trying to see which one would be easier to open. And I'm thinking this one will. So we're just going to squeeze the little thingy and just open it a little bit. Just a little bit. See if I can squeeze that in there. See, that's in. And we're just going to put it back down. So where it's closed and then squeeze it shut so that now that thing's on there just like that now the fun part the fun part yeah, this here this part here might be a little tricky because we are going to fasten this to that little jump thingy on the end of that teacup and I'm hoping it's not going to fall off because it is only glued on so we're going to have to be very careful so right now I'm looking for the opening and I think I see it now for this I want to use my little flat heads because it's much easier that way and we're just going to grab it and turn it just like that it's open now and we're going to very carefully and my hands are shaking like crazy, like always. Yeah. Okay, go in there. Okay. We got her in there. And what I think I'm going to do, this is very delicate. And I think I'm going to close this one up. If I can grab it. Oh, it fell off. That'd be fine. Like I said, this is going to be the, the difficult part. So we're going to grab it again. Oh. Yeah, working with little things. When you have shaky hands, it makes it a little difficult. Okay. I'm just going to lay it on the table and try to pick it up this way. Try to pick it up. There we go. I got it. Okay, let's try this again. 
Okay. Now I'm hoping that's going to hold on there because I need to grab it with this one. Hold on there. Don't fall off. And close it. It's not closed. <laughs> it be not closed. You know, after all, um, actually, I'm going to try and just go ahead and put the thing on like I originally planned to do. So we're going to put it on here. I'm trying to hold it with this thing, and it, my hand's just not squeezing it tight enough. Put that there. Put this here. Okay, now we're going to try this. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I might need to get a bigger one. That one that just might be too small. And I do have bigger ones. And so I'm trying to get the one that's... Yeah, I don't want this one because that's the same size as that. So probably one of these these other ones. They're just a teeny bit bigger and hopefully they don't look stupid. But we'll try it and if it's if it's just looks stupid then I'll have to I'll have to make the little one work. But let's try this. What I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna use these ones with the the flat heads. So they will hold this better. Then around, oh, I just dropped that one. Let's try it again. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And this might be just way too big. It might look just silly, so we're going to try it at least. Okay, got that one on. Got that one on. I'm just going to grab it and close it. And we'll see. Now that it's on. It don't look, it don't look terrible. It would look better with the, um, a little one. I'm going to try and get a little one on there because it will just look better with a little one. I'm going to try, not try to get this off. That's going to be fun. That will be fun. So I'm just going to grab it with this one. Try, try and get it. Ugh. Come on. Okay, I got it. There. I got it. It would just look better with a tiny one, so I'm gonna try oh, that kitchens. I'm gonna try a tiny one again. Maybe if I use the little ones like this one, I might get somewhere. I'm trying to find the separate where it's separated, and I found it. So I'm opening it up. At least I thought I was, but I guess not. Okay, try and hold that tight. Okay, I see where it's separated. Voila. We're going to put this on first. I'm going to bring you a little bit closer. And we're going to put this baby on. Okay, now we just need to get it shut. Get, cross your fingers. Pray for me. I did it. That looks better. That looks much better. Yes, it does. Isn't that cute? So I'll give you an idea of where this is going. I'll have to pull you back a little bit. And pull you up.
this is going to sit just like this. I'll turn it around. Just like that. Gonna, you see how easy it is to to mold it, to mold the the stuff. Yeah, see, I'm just squeezing it with my thinner. I'm trying to get it to stay up like that. That is what I want. So I'm going to just put it up here. And no, I guess not. I guess that ain't gonna work. I'll figure it out though. I'll figure out a way to get it to stay up like that. I will figure it out. It'll, it'll go like that. Something like that. I just gotta figure it out how to set it up there right. And the, the reason I wanted those things was to weigh this down. Because as you can see, it's too heavy. But I wanna just play with it a little bit. Play with it. There's a jelly bean. It's a jelly bean. It's a jelly bean. It's a baby. Cup needs to be turned around so you can see the design. Yeah. But that's pretty. But that's pretty much what it's gonna look like. <clears throat> but that's pretty much what it's gonna look like. Yeah, I'm not planning on putting anything. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can figure out a way to get this to sit up like that. I mean, maybe I just need to bend this underneath it a little bit. No, that didn't work. I just gotta fool around with it, see what I can do. See what I, how I can figure it out. Because if I have the, the teacup pot over here, it's too heavy. If I have it over here, it pretty much, you know, it stays up with just the teep cup. Yeah, see? But I'm not done with this yet. I will be coming back to it. I do plan on putting a little bit of weight in inside the teacup. You know, obviously I'm not going to be able to put a lot because, you know, it's a tiny little teacup. But yeah, I, I wanted to finish... Um, you know, the little picture. At least get that part done. And, um, I'm thinking I'm putting, just putting a little glass bead in there. Um, with some glitter on it. That's my plan. So, 
You know, when I'm ready to do that, then I will turn this video back on and <laughs> work on some more. But yeah, but I, like I said, I wanted to get this part done. The little dangly. You know, let you see what I had planned. I think once I have it done, it's going to be really cute. Yeah. I don't know, I might... Huh? No, I probably won't put any flowers on this part. I might just leave it like it is. I don't know yet. I don't know. But, yeah, it's got to be perfect or it's going to just tip over. But, yeah, that's it. So I'm, um, that's it. My son just texted me saying, it's time to pick me up. He's at work. So don't forget, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And right here you'll see my little picture, so click on it. Click on it if you haven't subscribed. I post new videos every day. But until next time. Bye!